welcome, 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 or welcome back, if you know. So, we are here today not to do movie reaction at this moment. That will be coming up later on today. We are here to do monthly movie tribute. We're going live because we have had a lot of um, blocking going on on the channel when we get ready to upload. So, to help alleviate the frustration of that happening, we're going to be going into a cooling off period. The cooling off period uh, to the channel is <clears throat> basically us going live for monthly movie tribute of uh, three weeks. It will officially end on April the 10th. And I do have good news. We did get a video uploaded. So we are ready and we, we're on the right path to going back to where we need to be. But for now, we need to just take a step back, regroup, let things cool off, and then we'll come back. So today's reaction for Monthly Movie Tribute Live will be a little different. We are going to be just reacting to, just so you know, since we're going live, we'll be only reacting to the last 30 minutes of the film just to be, you know, different from movie night. Movie night is an hour, an hour and a half, so Monthly Movie Tribute will be 30 a max of 40 minutes if required, okay? Now, Sweetheart, Jason Blumhouse production, came out in 2019. A movie that I've been wanting to see for quite some time, but it's never been free. So this is another movie that we had to pay for. So we will be sharing the link to that after this live so that you can go watch it for free, full length movie on us here at clubhouse 81 and that link will be open only for 24 hours all right so let's dive into the reaction shall we now i know this is usually for movie night so don't listen it's different it's different <laughs> Oh, the sign on is not on. Okay, my bad, y'all. Hold on. The sound wasn't even on. Let me restart it. I thought... You know, when you go live, you see it all. Okay, so the, the trailer was not that long, but I do have some extended clips to share with you guys, just to give you a little background and recap on what I have watched so far, all right? So it's going to be really quick, don't worry. Now, this starts off with this young lady here. She's stranded on the island. Don't know where, don't know which island. She comes across this guy, Brad, as you heard in the trailer. Some random guy, don't know. Uh, he's injured, ends up dying from those injuries. All right? Uh, then later on, something eats Brad's body. Don't know what, but she buried it out of respect, and it came up missing. Mm -hmm. Now, there are others on this island or well 
there's presence of other people being on this island. You know, old clothes or old tarp, pictures of a family that was once there and was being stalked by something. All right. Now, she found some debris from her shipwreck. She tries to use that to her best ability. Uh, doesn't work out for her. She sees a plane, shoots a flare gun, and when she shoots that flare gun, that's when we see the creature. All right? Now, she survived about three nights with no contact. She comes across a torso at... Let me pause it. Now, she came across that torso. That was at the 34... 52 minute mark at the 24 minute mark is where we see her with the uh, flare gun okay at the 34 52 minute mark is where she finds that half a body now she hung up that body i don't know why i didn't understand that part on why she hung it up i don't i mean the creature did come and eat it but i don't know if he did that as bait for her to size up what the creature looked like fully i don't know i didn't understand that all right, but she will get to really meet it because at the 40 minute mark, she is attacked. All right, it comes out and she uses she gets she builds a hammock up in the trees, doesn't really do anything for her. Uh, the creature comes right to her, as you see, she saw it in the bush, and it is beneath her. And it flips her out the hammock. Now, she was smart enough to build, like, multiple spears. So, uh, now, I don't know if she really built those spears to defend herself. Maybe it was to do both, defend herself and to fish with. All right? Now, um, this is the part where she get attacked by the monster, y'all. And she gonna be running for her life. And the monster and her are gonna have a little small fight. But homegirl, I do appreciate that that wrote her not to hesitate to strike it. So, um, she does end up stabbing it. Which I found to be smart. Because I was like, at least they didn't write her to be all like helpless. And just act like she don't know how to fight back. But in this one, she fights back. Uh, it gives me very much Creature of the Black Lagoon vibes, but we haven't seen it in full yet. We've just seen a little bit of it. So, this is, it's dark too. This movie is shot mostly in the dark, with no dialogue, by the way. She hasn't talked to a single person but herself, and we haven't really heard her talk to herself. So, yeah, I can appreciate that I have been captivated into a movie. Yeah, this is where she, now she got injured. She injured it, but it also injured her, all right? That's what we left off it. So it was like a blow for a blow type thing. But just so you know, this movie has no conversation. We're just basically watching her survive and roam around this island and fight off whatever this creature is. And it is keeping me interested, and I can appreciate that. So, so far, this is a hit from Bloom House. Now, we're going to pick this up at, I believe, the 42, 34 minute mark. If you want to join along, if you have access to uh, Sweetheart, which right now is only available on, like, Netflix. So, let's go. Oh, yeah, she swam out because she saw the next day when she was wrapping up her injury, a raft. How is her starting out? There was a family here a long time ago. So this is the first time we're going to get dialogue, y'all, at the 42, no, at the 44-minute mark. 44-minute mark, we just not getting a conversation. Because we have people. So whenever you guys are ready. I wonder how long they survived out there in that raft. Get out of here. From whatever shipwreck 
this was because we didn't get to see it. It just opens up with this girl on the island. They drinking them old cokes. An animal. Sweetheart, I'm sure there's a lot of animals. It's a monster. Okay, I saw it. It crawled out of the ocean, and it walks on land, and it drags its food back out to this... There's oh. A, there's a black hole out there. By the way, too, it's raining okay, here, so like, that's why I have this back. It is dead, storming. Like, I don't know what part of the country you're in there. right now. I wish you well and having a good day, but it is raining here in Miami. Okay. Welcome. The family that, that I was telling you about. Look at this. Did you see that? It, those, are, those are his eyes. Well, there's clearly a current pulling things towards the island. Uh, we all washed up here. I say we wait. We see if anyone else arrives. Sam, what if Brad shows up? Brad's dead. Brad's dead. Yeah. I'm sorry, I... Of course they don't believe you. Oh, I she said it's black blood. I told you. Creature from the black lagoon. Well, you might still be dying, girl, because she's not lying about that monster. Well, that's true, because you still got to continue with, like, sharks and stuff. You saw this movie before already? So lots of us, I, saw it. I haven't seen it. Okay? This is my first time watching it. Can the raft fit three people? <coughs> it looks small.
Okay, well, girl, let them leave. All right? No, you don't rest here. Then, you've been alone, and you're scared, and I get that. But whatever let them figure it out, girl. I told you that. Listen to me. There's nothing for miles, Jen. Okay, and I say we light a huge fire. You, you, you said there are planes, right? Oh, well, that's yeah, smart. I Let's burn it. Does. Burn it down. Girl, lead him. You know what danger is approaching at night. Lead him. Just let you know, right? Mm-mm. Girl, I'll be in that Ralph. I be long in the horizon. You can't hear their screams for miles out. Okay. I sleep real good. And the monster will eat real good, too. And if she do decide to stay, just go to the other side of the island, girl. Don't stay on that side where they at. Yes, girl, yes. Come on, leave him. She finna try to leave him. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, girl. You should have waited till they went to sleep. Who? Hurry up! No, y'all want to stay there. Don't try to stop her. Y'all don't want to get on the raft. Why is it taking her so long to get out of there? Let her leave. Why do they want to hold her hostage? <gasps> oh, wow. This bitch. Did she have to hit her in the head with the raft? Her evil ass. I hope she get ate first. I hope the monster eat her first. Eat it like a piece of corn on a cob. Oh, I can't believe they did this to this girl. They ain't even have to do all that. Well, it's nighttime. They tied her to a tree. Thank you. 
Okay, well, if you want her to feel safe, untie her. The girl is tied to a tree. Does she I look like she okay? And y'all gave her a head injury. <sighs> this is insane. What is this girl's background? Oh, and her name is Jennifer, too. Forgot to mention that because we didn't know what her name was at the beginning. And now she's talking to Lucas. And I don't know what this other girl name is. The, the Meg? Oh, no, this ain't nothing like the Meg. Mm-mm. No matter where you go, there's always a storm back behind you. Lucas, you know I love you. But this is not the time to talk about this. Let me go. So what were you going to do? What was your plan? I told Sarah? you. Head west. No, I get that. But you head west. You get found and brought back home. And then what? You've got no one else. Where are you gonna live? You're gonna go back to school? And afford it. I pay for your life. And you pay me back by taking the rap. He's a shitty boyfriend. Oh, so Brad wasn't her boyfriend. Brad must have been the other girl boyfriend. This is her boyfriend. And he's a piece of crap, by the way. Lucas is Jennifer's boyfriend. Now, my thing is, again, how did Lucas and this chick survive in this raft out in the middle of the ocean for so long? Because it had been at least four days. Oh, here she is, walking off by herself. Good. Eat her. She's so dumb. Oh, her name Mia. Well, Mia is about to be, um, I would say shark food, but it's not a shark. It's a monster. And it looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> it threw him halfway across the island. Please hurry up and get free, girl. Tear it. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Did he not see what he just hit? If he don't go somewhere and... Oh, she gone. Well, Lucas, it look like you gonna be dead, too. Because you an idiot. I'd have been running. Right? Get up. Let's go. 
You just seen Mia get ate up. I mean, not that we didn't want it to happen, but you know. Oh, yeah, that's good. I've been thought that sleeping up in the trees was probably a better idea. Not that it probably can't get to you in the tree, but it just seems to not climb. Man, he better be on board and getting into this raft. He just seen Bigfoot of the sea. Well, actually, it was something he could have done. He could have left with you when you told him to. But no, him and Mia thought that they knew better. And they were smarter than you. Yeah. And they weren't. Please don't go out in the same direction as that hole. Go out that way. Why would you go in the same direction that you've seen the hole? Did she not make the connection that that's where it comes from? Because obviously she did. She mentioned earlier, it's a hole out there, blah, blah, blah. Did they kill somebody for that round? Tell her. slice through that raft. It's an inflatable. Look at that. Yeah, y'all gonna be uh sinking in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. You said that you wouldn't come out during the 
There it go. It didn't bust through the raft. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's so stupid. He didn't even shoot it in the mouth. He shot it in. He just shot the raft. Did he fire one off in his mouth? Why didn't y'all stab it? One be stabbing it in the head while the up. Uh oh. It snatched her up out that raft. Oh, it looks like a um a bat. It looked like an underwater bat. Oh, no. Oh, girl. It is trying to take her to that hall. Ew. It looks like Jeepers Creepers mixed with a bat. Oh, the knife from the keys. Yes. Yes. Keep stabbing it, girl. Hurry up. And don't drop the knife. Is going for Lucas. Oh, because Lucas dove in to get her. Oh, damn. Well, he ain't do no good with this spear in his hand. He didn't even try to stab it. Drug Lucas right onto that hole. Wow. Girl, swim up to the shore. Get out of the water, girl. Swim to the shoreline. Wow. He didn't even do nothing with the spear. He just had in his arm swimming. Oh, well, we, well we, we, we know his character was wrote to die. That's all. He, he wasn't supposed to get no strike. Oh, they go to raft, but it's got a big, it's got like two holes at the bottom of it, though. Think you're gonna be able to reignite that fire, girl. Well, she got it, she got it reignited. That mean they weren't even gone that long for her to do that. They didn't even make it out that long. I'm writing this letter hoping it serves as some sort of proof. A little more than a week ago, my boat went down in a storm, and I've been surviving on this island since. Mm. Zach and Brad from our group are both dead. Brad washed ashore with me already injured and died shortly after. Days later, Zach washed ashore, already dead. I never knew their last names. Nia Reed and my boyfriend, Lucas Griffin, arrived on a raft a few days after. And they were both killed by a monster that lives just off this island. And there's nothing I can do to prove that. For a lot of my life, I've struggled with being believed. Truth doesn't always come with a receipt. Sometimes all we have is our words. Oh, my God. Why is she digging up these graves? Oh, she using the bones. 
Oh, that's smart. Morbid but smart. That's right, girl. You gotta fight that. This note that's left of my body will either be on this island or deep in a hole off the west shore. I hope this letter is enough for you to believe my story. Jennifer Renee. Oh, I thought that was the end of the movie. I was going to be like, we won't even get to see what happened. <clears throat> oh, there it is, too. This thing has been stabbed twice and it didn't bleed out. It walks on hooves. Oof. And by the way, we still, as an audience, have not actually fully seen this creature. We haven't fully seen this creature, by the way, yet. Oh, now we get to see it. She's surrounding it with fire. Stab. Did she? That's a good. That's smart. She's doing the distract and attack. So she surrounded it with fire. It doesn't know which direction she's coming from to stab it. That's a nice touch. Giving me very much Predator, if y'all don't know. The one with Adrian Brody in it. Mm-hmm. Stab. Oh, it got her. Stab. Ooh. It don't mind roundhouse kicking you into a tree or... Ooh. It don't mind throwing you. Stab. Stab. That's right. Come on, girl. You gotta be like, ooh, you gotta be like Ghostface. Yes. Oh, oh, Sam. I like this. She is doing a good job. Sam. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Stab. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Did it get her? Did it slice her up on the back? Girl, get up. Yes. And she got some more weapons. Ready. Yes. Hurry up. Stab it up, girl. Ooh. It looked like a mix of a crab, a bat, Jeepers Creepers. And a bird. Like it got like a bird head and a beak. But then it got like bat claws. Yes. Stab it again, girl. Stab it again. I was stabbing it till I feel like it was nothing left in it to, to breathe. She did a good job.
Oh, all right. Now we ain't gonna touch it. Oh no, no. Mm mm. And we don't even know if it has like other, if it's like a family of these creatures out there. We don't know. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? a lot. I think she just cut its head off with a skeleton bone that had to have been the leg bone. Mm. Well, did she patch up the raft? Oh, she's still on the island. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a little dark. I can't see. Well, now, I get it. The island is on fire. Hopefully, a, a, a plane will come by and dispatch somebody out there. But, honey, you stuck. Well, at least she ain't got to fight off this preacher no more. Mm. Well, that was Sweetheart 2019. That was not a bad movie at all. Again, that was a hit from Bloom House. I can appreciate that movie. I also appreciate the parallel in this movie. At the beginning, when she first found Brad's body, he was still partially alive. And she went to go get a coconut and bust it open for the water to bring to him. And that has that was like a reoccurring thing that we saw was things busting through. And I like that, you know. Um, I also like how, again, they didn't make her seem so weak and just so helpless. Like she really put forth her brain effort and smarts to survive. Now, I wish we would have got a little bit more background on her and her friends, like her boyfriend Lucas, Mia. You know, we couldn't get no background on Zach and Brad because they was dead on arrival, basically. But, you know, just to understand how they got there. Because, yes, at the end, she, as her last, you know, testament of life, she wrote that they were on her boat and that they, you know, got shipwrecked in a storm. Great. Could we have got a little glimpse of that? Like, just a little flashback of that? You know what I mean? Because the way Lucas and Mia treated her, they treated her as if she was already a menace before this incident. Like, she was a problem person or something. But we don't know because there was no really detail about it. Again, I do also like that something that's rare is that they spent the first 45 minutes of this movie in silence. We just watched her and this monster. And to do that and pull that off in an hour and 22 minutes, by the way, is great. I get, I like this movie. You know, I really do. I highly recommend you check it out. I'm about to get off here. That ends our monthly movie tribute movie reaction. We will be back in a couple of hours, maybe less. But we'll be right back, okay? We're coming back to do movie night. And this movie night is not scary. It is where we live, and that is action. Y'all know action is our call. That is my calling over here. That's how we got this uh, channel started, was off of reacting to action films. So we're going to be doing that for movie night tonight, today, uh, a little later on. And... I'm going to be linking when this live is over with. If you want to watch Sweetheart in full, there will be a link in the description box. And it will be there available for 24 hours only. And if you are new to me, 
please subscribe to the channel. Join the Clubhouse 81 Cinematics. We would love to have you over here aboard with us. We do this every week. Remember, this is just a short cooling off period. We will not be doing this regularly just for the next three weeks. So stay tuned for the next MMT coming up next week. And I will do my best to come on Wednesday, which is the actual scheduled slot for MMT. So until then, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in a few minutes.